starting off CNC break, 15,200. Yeah, as I said, there's stories I know that would absolutely just ruin people. And that is not my intent. I want the hobby to flourish. I want people to be happy and excited for it. And it continued to grow. That's realistically all I care about at this point. Portraits for the Montreal Canadiens of McNiven. For the Habs. We've got a Gibson Dazzlers for the Ducks. And a Young Guns of Stutzel for the Sens. Kevin, I always try to be as politically correct as possible. If I... If I shy away from something or I do not want to say something, there's generally a very good reason why. So sometimes I get asked certain questions of like, oh, do you, do you like these guys? Or, you know, kind of just brush it by. And there's always a reason why because there's things behind the scenes that people just don't need to know about, to be honest. And that's also why, in all honesty, when people bash up her deck, you guys do not realize all the challenges they go through. Regula Young Guns for the Hawks. Like, they legitimately care about the industry. I will actually honestly say I think the people who build the products at Upper Deck genuinely care the most out of all the other manufacturers that the products succeed, are not overproduced. Again, they cannot control everything. You guys have to remember, the people who build the products are not the people who cut the products or QC the products. So the problem is they can only build it, but that's why I have a lot of sympathies for what goes on. Tarasenko for the Blues. Portraits. We've got a shooting stars of Flurry for Vegas. Red. And J&D, I always follow as a very simple thing. You don't get as far, like very, very rarely do people get as far as they do or as respected as they do for just random reasons, right? They generally earn it. We've got a Young Guns checklist of Jack and Quinn Hughes, Vancouver, New Jersey. And as I said, I have a very good relationship with uh, Universal Distribution. And there's a really good reason why. Felino for the Blue Jackets canvas. So they treat us awesome as a, as a store. They treat a lot of people awesome. I feel like distributors get uh, crapped on quite a bit for not the smartest reasons. Portraits rookies of Texier for the Blue Jackets. Oh, eight feet. I agree with you, but that's not the people who build it, right? Balsers, young guns for the Sens. Like, I could build a product and say, build, like, design it this way, do it this way. If the people, if the machines who distribute it mess it up or they cut it wrong, that's not on the people who built the product. I agree, it's upper deck. Zadina Glossy for the Red Wings. Jones Bronze Glossy for the Ducks. Makar for the Avs. That's what I mean. Is, is the guys who actually build the products are not the ones like cutting the products. Now, don't get me wrong. I've been very vocal that I think uh, the redemptions, the uh, customer service needs to be a little better. And I definitely think they need to tweak and improve their expired redemption program. I am absolutely vocal on that, but that's that's not that's a different I'm saying different uh, area than the building of products. Greenway for the wild retro. Johnson Young Guns for the Hawks. Holographics of Romana for the Habs. Latanen Young Guns for the Leafs. Yeah, cool. And you should, honestly. Rookie class of Velarde for the LA Kings. Hoaglander victory for the Vancouver Canucks. It's just your face and your name. Perfect. Handmark Young Guns for the Sharks. Makar for the Avalanche. Retro. 
Go base. French variant of Georgia for the Rangers. And as you guys are uh, having great conversation, ultimate victory of Patterson. Feel free to ask me questions, guys. These are the nights I, uh, I enjoy thoroughly. Reflections of Kachuk for Calgary. We've got a Young Guns of Ingham for the LA Kings. We've got a Retro Tribute of Kaliev for the Kings. Kaliev. And as I said, if you're genuinely curious on certain things, I can... Whether I can average or whether I can tell you guys or not, at least it's good to ask. Ultimate victory of McDavid for the Oilers. Uh, Glenn, I feel like it's going to be much bigger in the coming years. Hapo Niemi, finite for Florida. I will tell you, 8 Feet, their staff do all work very hard. A lot of times it's restrictions that they all have to follow. Clear cut for the Islanders of Matt Martin. And I do understand that, as I said. It's just sometimes they have to follow what they're told. And Dazzler's pink of Krug for the Blues. Like, I will say, their customer service is significantly better than it used to be. Dre Seidel for the Oilers. But I still think they can improve on it. But I don't think that necessarily is a negative thing. I go Buffalo Sabres. Buffalo Sabres. God in Calgary Flames, Young Guns. NHL Best of Dubois for the Jackets. Schmalewski, Young Guns for the Sharks. Rookie Class of Norris for the Ottawa Senators. Uh, what has to improve? I would like to see, so on the expired redemption raffles, they cap it, I think, about 250. I would like them to see, they have a little more leniency for people who open big cards. Like, we had a customer, for example, uh, have a McDavid Ultimate Rookie out of 99. Expired. And he basically got a... I'm trying to remember what the card was. It was a Tarasenko something that sold for $70 but it booked for $250. So obviously I was pretty vocal about that. And I was like, you basically you were like swapped a card at the time. Ottinger renditions for Dallas. Bowers $9.99 for the Avalanche. At the time that was down for two grand. Right now it's like four grand. Super stage of Vanistick for the Caps. Lindstrom $2.99 for the Red Wings. So I think that's kind of a slap in the face. Now it is better to get nothing or something than nothing. Renditions of Evans for the Habs. And Norris for the Sens. But I do think there should be special exemptions, except, exempt, no, exceptions, exceptions for larger cards. Robertson renditions for the Leafs, and a McLeod for the Oilers rendition jersey. Yeah, Future Watch Auto. Like, don't get me wrong, it is better to get something than nothing, but I, I just think that's kind of a slap in the face to these guys who are spending a lot of money. Renditions of Geeky for the Canes, signature pucks of Bluger. For the Penguins. And not that it's a bad thing, but when we had another member who got a, uh, I think it was a wall autograph or something. So I, it probably sold for about 300 bucks. He got a Yager scripted swatches from Cup out of 35. Super stage of Robert, or sorry, Anderson for LA. And a Quinny Vegas Golden Knights for 99. And my, again, I'm thrilled the customer got treated well with the Yager. Where I have an issue is, why did the guy who got a $300 card or $400 card get a $400 card in return, but the guy who's got a $2,000 card get a card that sells for like 70 bucks? I do not like that. This is a nice one. A canvas auto number.
number to 25, Scott Gomez. Gomez signatures out of 25. Well, there's a difference, J uh, Jarek, if your item is simply uh, depleted. There is a difference from that versus expired redemption. I want to make that clear. So you will probably get a more than fair replacement. I do agree 8 feet is more than uh, it is random. I do know that. It is actually random. What I'm saying is I do not like how there's that much of a discrepancy. 349, Patterson for Vancouver. Uh, that's on the players, unfortunately. j &D, they have to. We've got a 49 diamond of Bowers for the Avs. Very nice. 49 diamond Bowers for the Avs. Run for the cup. Number to 99, Carter Hart. So if you've noticed, they've actually pulled uh, the amount of redemption that they're putting in products lately quite a bit, and then they reinsert them in the future years. Diamond Mine Relics of McKinnon for the Avs. j and I'll give you a quick explanation of how they build the products for the most part. And you guys, maybe you'll have a better understanding of why. Rookie Gems, three ninety nine dollars of Joseph for the Penguins. I don't mind that at all, Golden, personally. And a 299 Liam Foodie for the Jackets. There we go. 